Hello everyone and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Today uh, we are going to look at how to create your own 808 uh, bass synth sound using a synthesizer and logic. This is something that um, everyone always wants is a great 808 and I'm going to attempt to help you understand how to make your own and then from there you can modify it with all sorts of stuff. But first thing you're going to want to do is create a software instrument and the classic electric piano is the go-to default but what we are going to use is in here in the track inspector so if you use this eye right here you'll open your track inspector look at the instrument slot on the track as you hover over it these two little arrows will appear on the side and we are going to use the es2 synthesizer and this looks insanely complicated and you can certainly make it more complicated than it needs to be but I'm going to try to explain what you need to do. Uh, these are three different oscillators for the synthesizer. The first thing you want to do is turn oscillator one down to the sine wave setting. The sine wave setting is the one we want and then we are going to shut off oscillator two and oscillator three by clicking the numbers and then drag this all the way up to where the dot is in the corner and it's 100% on oscillator number one. So that creates a sine wave. And then one thing we want to do to make it down in the base register is go ahead and take this knob and roll it to negative 12. And what that says is that we are going to drop this sound one octave or 12 semitones. So now when we play on the piano, we get that nice low frequency uh, push. The next thing we are going to do is add some distortion to this. No distortion. All the distortion. Going to live somewhere in that range right there. And then finally, we're going to look at this setting down here. This is the sound envelope for the actual uh, wave being created. There's the attack phase, the decay phase, the sustain phase, and then the release phase. So what I'm going to do is bump up the attack phase. Here's the original. So that gives a little bit longer time for it to go from no sound to full amount of sound. And then I'm going to lower the sustain volume. So now it will hit and then back back down so it has a little bit more bounce. And whatever level you sit this at is the level that it stays at while you hold the key down. And then you can add just a little bit more decay and I'm going to add just a touch more attack. And that last one was a little bit of release so that when I actually lift my finger up off the key, it takes just a second to die down. So there is your basic um, 808 created in the ES2 synthesizer in Logic. And then if you really like that, you can always go into your settings and save uh, that channel strip and it will add it to your user channel strips and patches so that is a good thing so there you go you have your 808 made from scratch using a sine wave here in logic if you found this helpful feel free to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel i hope you have a fantastic day